Hey everyone, Richard Kennedy here. I hope all of you are doing well. Today is Sunday, uh, March the 22nd, 2020, and uh, we're in the middle of what uh, is called a pandemic right now, as the governments are calling it worldwide. A virus by the name of Corona virus is uh, taking over, I guess you could say, the, uh, the world right now as it has spread just in a matter of a few months across the, uh, the globe. People, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a pre-tribulation trial of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the purging and purifying of Christians right now. I want you to take a look at the areas that are most uh, heavily hit. Number one is Italy. I've been saying things about Italy in the Vatican for two or three years now. The Vatican needs to come clean. There should be no secret chambers, secret of anything of God. And supposedly they have these basements full of documents and things like that that are withheld as secrets. You need to let it out. I've been saying it. There are no secrets with God. Period. Catholic religion needs to change. Okay. I have a lot of friends that are Catholics and I'm not talking about them. This is going back centuries ago. The lies started being told and things started being done by the Catholic religion many centuries ago. You need to change. You're being judged right now heavily in the pre-tribulation time, purging and purifying. The second country hardest hit, China. China does not believe in Christianity and will not allow Christianity. Wake up China. Next is the United States. New York. I've never had any desire to visit New York. I've always said it's a dirty place. It's the heaviest hit right now. Wake up New York. Another area, New Orleans. It's not because of the saints. It's because of the voodoo, the black magic, and things like that that go on that somebody tried to do in my house as well. Three years ago. They don't fly with God. Another hard hit area, area San Francisco. Another hard-hit area, Washington State, where it first began. What happened in Washington State a few months ago? White supremacists, stupid people. You need to take a look at the areas that are being hard-hit by this pre-tribulation, purging and purifying the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been warning, but nobody's been listening. And that's okay. It's your fault. I'm going to pull out the Bible here. I want to read some verses. I just randomly opened this up. Acts chapter 3. Uh, this is about uh, John and uh, Peter um, healing a person. So I'm going to skip on down to uh, Acts 3, starting with verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we have made this man to walk? The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son, Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, and killed the prince of life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And his name through faith, and his name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yeah, the faith, which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But these things, which God before had shown by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Verse 19, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come, when the presence
presence of the Lord, refreshing the puring and purifying. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yeah, all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. I've been saying it for three years. Verse 25, Ye are the children of the prophets, and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. And to you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, and turning away every one of you from his iniquities. I've been saying this for three years. I've been prophesying for three years. And nobody believes me. Acts 4. I'm going to start with chapter, or excuse me, verse 13. The last night I put on my blog, I will speak loudly, I will speak boldly from now on. The time is here. Of the tribulation. The judging of the Christians. Which, by, by the way, the judging is taking place by Satan. Peter, or excuse me, Acts 4, 13, starting with 13. Now when they saw the boldness, and I mentioned boldness last night, my blog, of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man, which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go outside or go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, Shall we do to these men? What's, what shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it but that it spread no further among the people. Let us, let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in his name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. My people sure don't want to say anything about me and the prophecies that I've told, the things that I've done, and the thousands of things that I've seen. Verse 18, But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God to judge ye. Verse 20, of Acts chapter 4, So we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorify God, for that which was done. For the man was above forty years old, on whom this miracle of the healing was showed. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord, and said, Lord, thou art God, which hast made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is them in all that in them is. Verse twenty five. Who by the mouth of thy servant David hath said, Why didst the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things against me? The kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. Welcome to my world. For 
of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontimus Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together, for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto their servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thy hand to heal, and the signs and the wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were, assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God in boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things common. In 33. And with great power gave the apostles witnesses of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Pre-tribulation times people and I've been saying it's going to happen. This is nothing. In years, there will be more to come. Time to start listening. The coronavirus is a touch virus, or you know, be within six six feet or so of somebody that has it. They sneeze or they cough. Um, their eyes are getting in you know, pretty good. People are staying indoors these days, locked up, quarantined. Get outside. You're with your family, with your kids. Get them away from the TV. Get them away from the computers. Get them away from the games. Go out in the wilderness. Take a drive to the mountains. All this food and this toilet paper and stuff y'all stocked up on. Take some of that food and cook it. Put it in a picnic basket. Grab some blankets. Go jump in your vehicle. Throw the kids in there as well. And get out and learn a little bit about Mother Earth. Get out and go touch the things that you can touch. You can't touch another human right now outside of your home, not knowing what it is. But get out and touch nature. Take this time off. Spend it with your kids. Get a nature book. Don't leave the cell phone in a car. Take a book with you. Go out for a hike and a picnic with your child or children in a remote area somewhere. Learn about nature. The coronavirus is not an airborne virus. You're not going to get it in the woods or in the mountains. Take this time and do it. This is pre-tribulation time. Is your heart right? Is your soul in the right place? Do you have the right faith? It's your call. We're at that crossroad. Which road do you want to take? Do you want to take the road <laughs> to Satan? As he's doing the judging right now? Or you want to change that road? And live in a less toxic way towards the Lord? This is just a first wake-up call. There will be others to come. Trust me. This is 2020. Year 2022 is right around the corner. Something's going to happen then. And 2029 will be the ultimate. It's not the end of the world. 2029 again will be the deciding year of which road we chose to take. The road to a new beginning or on the path that we're on now. The road beginning to the end. The number eights have appeared to me a lot. The number eight is a new beginning and resurrection in the Bible. It appeared April 1st, Easter, Midnight, 2018, full moon, number eight, appeared on the full moon. Number eight has appeared many different ways, and just last week it appeared in my bedroom back there. On my closet door, number eight appeared. And last night, yeah, this is the little book. The little Bible. That when I was eight years old. I wrote in the back of it, and I drew seven shields, the seven plagues, the seven vials. But last night I opened up the book, my 
computer thing just went off. When that happens, what I say is true. For everything I say is not a lie. Everything and every picture I have is not a lie for I speak the truth of God. But Second Peter chapter 2 in the book, the little book that's been opened. Chapter 2 verse 8. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, the preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. The number eight appeared on my bedroom door last week. Noah, the number eight. The destruction of the world, the eighth person. Yeah. Lord Jesus Christ has been here. He's come to me. I have been filled with the Holy Ghost. January, excuse me, February 25th, 2017 to be exact. Moses. Noah. King David. King Henry II. King Richard. President Kennedy, President Lincoln, President Washington. Yeah, some very notable. Daniel in the Bible, Ezekiel, Ruth, the great grandmother, King David. You need to check out my blog from last night, March 21st, 2020. I put some of these pictures of uh, some images that appeared with me. I'll speak the truth. My blog is newevolutioncounseling.com. Again, it's newevolutioncounseling.com. Christian blog. You need to take a look at it. You need to read it before I speak the truth. I do not lie. God bless each and every one of you. Now it's time. It's first phase of pre-tribulation to make a choice. God bless.